Countess, pray for me. For I have sinned against myself and me brother Rodrigo. You've got to say sinned as if you've really sinned. 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 Rodrigo, you arrive seeking the Duke of Lancashire. Hark ye. Who goes there? Oh, I forgot symbols. Why, it's... It's Rodrigo. Rodrigo. I want to be Lady Violet. Mm. I'm exhaustified of being the boy. The play is the thing, Amy. You're too little to be Lady Violet. Here, be the Countess de Montanescu. You don't have any lines. Besides, who would be our Roderigo? <clears throat> Gentlemen, <clears throat> I propose the admission of a new member to our theatrical society. Theodore Lawrence will put it to a vote. Nay. He'll laugh at our acting and poke fun at us later. He'll think it's only a game. No, he won't, upon my word, as a gentleman. Joan, when it's only ladies, we don't guard our conduct in the same way. We bare our souls and tell the most appalling secrets. He would find us improper. Oh, Teddy would do nothing of the sort. Oh, please. Let's try him, shall we? <laughs> Joan, 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 Joan. Fellow artists, may I? Present myself as an actor, a musician, and a loyal and very humble servant of the club. Oh, we'll be the judge of that. In token of my gratitude, and as a means of promoting communication between adjoining nations, shouting from windows being forbidden, I shall provide a post office in our hedge to further encourage the bearing of our souls. Most appalling secrets. I do pledge never to reveal what I receive in confidence here. Well then, do take your place, Roderigo. Sir, Roderigo. <laughs> 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 and so Laurie was admitted as an equal into our society, and we March girls could enjoy the daily novelty of having a real brother of our very own.